Hi there! Today we're going to be making some fresh fruit art. And we will be using some strawberries and a fruit paring knife. For your strawberries, make sure you wash them ahead of time and let it dry thoroughly because you do not want a slippery strawberry when cutting it. You might hurt yourself. Okay, so for this one, you would want a nice and perfect strawberry. So we'll try to create three rows of petals, starting from the bottom, second row, and the third row. When creating your petals, you would want to create like a triangle or a peak so that it looks like a petal or a curved one so that it looks like any old petal. So let's try to do this. So I'm trying to create that triangle start. And then I will slice through just halfway and bend the edges a little bit to create that curl that you see in the older petals. So it should look like this. There we go. Okay. So just two, four more of those. Ideally, ideally you want five, but it would really depend on the size of the strawberry with how many you can make. So again, it could be like curved like this or a little bit pointed like this. Either way, it should look good. Alright, so that is our first row. So, as you can see, we have the First petal here, second, third, fourth, and fifth. Right there. So now we're going to the second row of petals. You want to slice in between the first and second petal over here, the middle part. So carve up that curve, then slice halfway and bend a little bit. It won't bend as much as the first row of petals, but it should be okay. Remember not to slice, slice through completely, because the petal will of course fall off. And the last one over here. There. So that's our second row of petals. Now we're making the third row. So it's the same. We'll try to do it in between the bottom petals. But since our space is getting smaller, you might not be able to make it as pretty as the first two rows, and that's okay. Just try as much as you can. There we go. Last two. Bend a little bit. This is the last one. As you can see, it's not like a perfect little peak or curve anymore. And that is totally okay. So yeah, we created three rows of petals for us and that is the ideal minimum rows that you want so this one is a little bit taller so we can still create a fourth row over here again it won't be perfect anymore because we are running out of space and that is totally fine we're trying to do as much as we can So in the top part, just try to cut it off a little bit. You don't have to bend it because it would totally break off. And if you still have some space, just try to cut it diagonally and leave the top part alone. Alright, so you're done with your strawberry rose. You just have to pull apart the petals so that you can... 
highlight each and every one. There we go. So you can remove the bottom part if you want it to be more stable. But you can also leave it as is to make it look like a real rose for the best tens and the leaves. Put it up on a cake, a cupcake, or just some fancy breakfast plate that you want to serve your family or for yourself. Again, you can put it in a stick as well so that you can create a little bouquet. Perfect for spring parties and of course Mother's Day. So that's everything. I hope you can make your own for your own little party. Bye! Here are some samples on how you can put them on a cake. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.